All right, so here we are back in that op. This time I'd like to show you how you can demo for students. So for example, um, I want my students to learn how to use certain tools in, um, in P text help PDF reader. And perhaps I have some students who are having a hard time or can't see the smart board very well. Maybe they're having a hard time not looking at their computer or touching their computer. So there is a demo option here. So I do want to make sure that I select all the students, or if I'm just doing a demo with four or five students, if I had four or five, I could just select individual students. The great part about this is even in the last video when I sent the message, I could have selected three students who were on YouTube, and I could have sent the same message to all three just by clicking on and then using um, control or uh, shift and clicking on the other students. And then I could select them so I can send messages or anything I do here could be um, could reflect onto one student screen. It could reflect onto three, onto eight, excuse me, or the whole class. So in this case, I've got Carter uh, selected and I'm gonna click on demo. So now I decide what of my screens am I gonna share? So I'm gonna share this screen right here and click share. And now my screen takes over their computer. Whoever, whatever students I have selected, they can all see my screen now. So I just minimize this. I'm going to, go, going to come back now to my Google um, account. I'm going to click on, in this case, these are instructions for how to use NetOp Vision. But maybe I want to teach them that in a PDF, if you open it up and use text help, we have all these different options. It'll read to you. You can write in it, and you can draw boxes. So just as an example, I can click on the, I don't really want the drawing tool, I want the typewriter tool. So if I click on the T and I click, I can now type my message in this PDF. So the one thing I do try to um, help the students with is, is when you're doing this, most PDFs tend to be black, uh, tend to have black writing. So I tend to say to students, well, if you're writing your message in here, so my message in the PDF, if I wrote it, I can click here and extend it so it's just on one line. I can make the writing larger, smaller. I usually talk to them about changing the color of the writing so it stands out, so it's easy to tell what you wrote. If I want to listen back to what I've written, it's just like using the regular read and write, except this is for PDFs only. I click on play, and it read it to me. What's also great about this is after I click off it, that's fine. But say later I want to move this somewhere else on my page. Fantastic, I can do that. If I just click on it once, I've got this arrow. I can move this around anywhere I want it to go. So maybe I wanted it to put my written message inside this visual. I can do that. When I click off it, there it is. So this is how I may want to demo on their screens in front of them how to do something. When I'm finished demoing for them, I just need to make sure I come back and I open up again my reader, or I'm sorry, my net op. And if I click on no, demo again, um, they now have control back of their computer. If I click on Carter's computer, you'll notice it's now he's back to his, he had a Google Doc open, so he would be able to then work in it. So demo is a great way for students who maybe um, need that computer open right in front of them and have a difficulty with all the visual distractions in a classroom of focusing on one board, they can actually focus on their computers and get the same message. So I'd highly recommend the demo feature. It is great.